Ken from Old Time Wisdom again. I thought I'd do a video today for all of the healthy skeptics out there that uh, have never used Old Time Wisdom and find it a little bit hard to believe that a compound formulated by two fly fishermen in Maine 130 years ago could be such an effective repellent for all that period of time. And so I went on the internet and I found a couple of uh, scientific sites that might shed some light on why Old Time Woodsman has been the world's best and uh, insect repellent against all biting insects. First of all, I found a site called Chemistry World. And Chemistry World, their headline was, Mosquitoes Fooled by Compounds that Target CO2 sensors. And it goes on to say that insects, such as mosquitoes, detect carbon dioxide in exhaled breath to track down their prey. And Anandavskar, Ray, and his group have shown it's possible to use odorant molecules to disrupt the insect's carbon dioxide sensing machinery. Optimistically, they said, we have a prototype in a couple of years, but the idea that odor molecules in a very small quantity can have a dramatic effect on the behavior of such dangerous insects, that's really attractive. The second article I found was from the Scientific American Institute. Their headline, Mosquito Scent Tracking Discovery, could lead to better repellents. It says that the olfactory breakthrough cracks open new possibilities for future mosquito control worldwide. By tapping existing compounds known to block one class of olfactory neurons, scientists might be able to better camouflage humans from mosquito detection. And it said the most useful repellent co compound would be one which repels at a distance, providing spatial repellency without the need to apply directly to the skin. Back when Dr. Shera and, excuse me, Dr. Adams and Obi Shera were fly fishing in Maine and being chased out of the Maine woods by a horde of black flies, they passed a Native American sitting on a rock by the stream without being bothered at all by black flies. They went back and they experimented with coming up with a, a series of compound fragrances that would block the regular human scent and interfere with the mosquito or black flies ability to uh, detect carbon dioxide. They were very, very successful, so successful that they sold their first batch to a logging camp and Old Time Woodsman Fly Dope has been protecting outdoors people for now over 130 years. This summer, this spring, when you're fishing, you're hiking, you're walking, and the sun is darkened by black flies, remember Old Time Woodsman.